So if you could just sum up for us the outlines of the, the debate around the policing of uh, devolution of policing and criminal justice. Well, I mean, from the from the justice side of things, I mean, we'd have to welcome the the announcement um, within Silk Part Two. Um, there's no debate on it really. So first and foremost, this is an important part of a non-existent debate, if you like. Um, policing those debates, of course, it can be can be better made elsewhere. Um, but in terms of justice, prisons, probation, there's some real, you know, the, the timeline is, is possibly the most contentious issue. Um, the need to think about it isn't a contentious issue. There's a very real need to think about this. Um, and, and I would say that's the, that's the most kind of positive thing to come out of the, the, the recommendations, really, that, that, that there is a very real need, credible need, to have a debate over criminal justice in Wales. What? Explain to me why change is needed. I think... I think, in in a sense, it's almost changes inevitable, almost as it is needed. Um, there are debates about criminal justice, the system, and when you start fiddling around with the system, whether that be police and probation or prisons, it inevitably leads on to other elements of that system. The, the the danger here is, is if you if you devolve policing and don't devolve other elements of the justice system, you almost get into this biopsy of the Comfort model where you have you know what you're responsible for in some areas but not in, in others. So this is, it's very unclear, um, very uncertain, and, and I think that that is why we need to think about this as a system and not simply uh, prisons or probation, as, as Alan Michael was suggesting. We need to think about this as a, as a coherent whole in, in the long term. Byron Davis, why isn't change needed? Why isn't change needed? Um, well, I think change is needed. I mean, so, uh, change is more certainly needed as far as policing is concerned, but uh, not in the direction that uh, uh, is being suggested by Silk. Um, I, I think we do need some change here in Wales, and as I said earlier on, uh, we have a nation of three million people uh, serviced by four chief, uh, four chief constables, and I do question that. But in terms of policing, I think uh, people see police officers walking down the street and they think it's quite simple to just devolve the management of those down to the Welsh uh, Government. Uh, but it's far more technical than that, far, far more technical than that. Um, I, I mentioned again earlier that, uh, you know, in 1824, when the police service was set up uh, by Sir Richard Main, the, the Home Secretary then, he said in Parliament that the primary object of an efficient police is the prevention of crime. Nothing has changed. It is still the prevention of crime. And a police officer's role is primarily to gather information, turn that into intelligence and to act on it. And, uh, and really, we need to have an overall strategic view if we're going to do that successfully. Successfully. And to bring it down to the level of government here, I think, would really confuse the situation and would not be in the best interests of the Welsh people. The Silk Commission argued to prevent crime, we need to prevent the causes of crime. And many of the service, services that deal with the causes of crime are already devolved. So they argued to have a strategic view, as you seem to suggest, would be better done at the Welsh level just as is done in Northern Ireland and in Scotland. Depends what level of crime you're talking about, I think. Uh, certainly where you have uh, issues such as domestic violence, that sort of thing, they are, they are well dealt with uh, at this sort of level um, because there are many crossovers, uh, uh, you know, with the health service, etc. Um, but I think, um, you know, where you have uh, uh, organised crime, crime that transcends boundaries, chief constable's boundaries, you know, the, the constabulary boundaries, um, then I think it's a different issue altogether. Uh, and you really have to have an overall strategic view, which is best kept at the Home Office. I would disagree, of course. Um, I mean, there's some valid points in there, obviously, but um, I think, you know, that we're on the tidal wave of, of, of looking at these kind of things now. Um, there are, of course, going to be opposing views, but, you know, the, the recommendation that came out, so we have a timeline now to really think about those questions. And, and you know, I, I don't dismiss any of those views. It's, it's just a case of thinking about them uh, properly, meaningfully, within the context of, of the debates and, and all the evidence. It's about getting everybody thinking about this now. Um, of course, the, the, the recommendations for policing are a little bit stronger than those for, for probation and, and prisons, of course. Um, but I think we need to think about these as a whole. This is a system. This isn't just policing. This isn't just probation. This isn't just prisons. It's about a system. And, and all these views and opinions go into that debate. Finally, is it for you a matter of practicalities? Can these things be resolved? Or is it a fundamental issue? Is it a matter of principle? These things should be settled at an England and Wales level? No, I, I, th I think it's, it's, it's about what's best for the people of Wales at the end of the day. And I think this is something which, you know, there will be great debate around, but it should not be led by ideology. It should be led by what is best for the people of Wales. Is, is the debate around silk led by ideology? Um, maybe by some. Um, maybe, I mean, I haven't seen all, all the evidence submitted. Um, a lot of people submitted evidence from a very, you know, I think, 
decent position, practically speaking. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say it is in total. People will always reduce it to that. Um, but that that is what we ha- that is now the challenge we have over the next ten years to make sure that it isn't about ideology, make sure it is about practice, to make sure it is about ensuring that, as Byron Davis says, that, that it's the people of Wales that benefit from a system which is more conducive to what we want here in Wales and more conducive to ecological conditions of crime or, or the needs of the people of Wales.